It does not look like there's going to be a birthday party tomorrow. I will serve She food. will serve for surely if she ever gets done picking up her mess from a sock that she was told not to mess with. She cannot leave one kernel behind. I do not want to hear it no more, Celeste. No more talking. If it's so hard for you, I'm so sorry for you. If you have a birthday tomorrow, I'd be surprised. You are still not busy as I talk to you about this. She will for surely if she even gets pretty close to being done, which her her deadline was this morning. What? We started this five hours ago, didn't we? Felt like. I don't know. Might have just been two hours ago. I'm not sure. However, this is all she's done two hours later. She should have listened to her dad when he said, leave the sock alone. She says... But I want a vacuum cleaner. We tell her that's not the point. She screwed up. She was not listening. She disobeyed one of the Ten Commandments, God's rules. Honor thy mother and father. She doesn't listen. And now she's talking back. I told her she can use my vacuum cleaner after every piece has been picked up. We'll catch back with you in a couple minutes. I think it's near midnight now. It does not look good for Celeste. She does not look like she's going to make it. I expect to fall or see her fall asleep in the middle of the floor. So I'm going to tell y'all now. Signing off. Party's probably canceled. No. We'll see you in the morning. We'll let you know what we finally decide. But as of right now, it doesn't look really good for Celeste. We try to do something really nice for her, but she can't listen and behave. And she's supposed to be turning five on Tuesday. And today is Friday night. And as Celeste would say, Dun dun dun. Nobody knows. Looks bad. I expect that she'll probably spill the rice because she cannot behave. And I would also suggest, Celeste, when, when you think you're done, you need to move the sheet you're on and look underneath it. And look underneath the bed and make sure every piece is picked up. I've and during this time, you are in silence. Do not talk. And do not test me. This is your final warning. We are like two hours into this, people.